the biggest news of the week translated for Gen Z. Mitch McConnell froze again. It is still giving cognitive decline. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. The resident physician at Congress cleared him to go back to work. I didn't know they had, like, a school nurse for Congress. I just wonder if he would have been cleared for work if he had to operate a forklift during his day job. You can't really freeze when you do that. Maybe members of the Senate should be held to a higher standard than blue-collar workers, but I don't know. Do you ever feel like someone's watching you? Well, they are. This Labor Day, the NYPD is using drones to watch over large social gatherings. Doesn't that make you feel much safer? You want to enjoy your Labor Day? Celebrate the one day you have off from toiling away to pay for your existence? You better do it in a way that the NYPD approves of. More updates on our dystopic nightmare. The FBI has DNA samples for 51.7 million people. That's about 7% of the U.S. population. They asked Congress if they could nearly double their their budget, 53 million additional dollars so that they could expand the amount of DNA profiles that they process. That's cool and not weird at all. Like, why are you guys so obsessed with us? Why does the FBI need our DNA? I would also like to know that. I don't know where they got it. Some have suggested they bought it from Ancestry.com. Some have said they're getting the profiles from the Department of Homeland Security. I would like to imagine that they got it all from a sperm bank. That the FBI is splurging on splooch. Joe Biggs, a leader of the Proud Boys and organizer in January 6, got 17 years. Despite identifying as a proud boy, he was tried as an adult. There was a hurricane in Florida, Hurricane Idalia, 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 I don't know how to say it, but it was bad. It's the strongest storm to have hit Florida's Big Bend, which is apparently the armpit of the Gulf of Mexico. It was a Category 3 hurricane with winds up to 125 miles per hour. The damage is not so good, but it turns out Ron DeSantis is working with Joe Biden to figure this thing out. We're not going anywhere, the federal government. We're here to help the state as long as it takes. Speaking of Florida beaches, Jimmy Buffett died. This was a dude who sang about getting drunk on a beach, and then he opened some restaurants about it. So hug a boomer. Since it's Labor Day, let's talk about the one-of-a-kind study done by the U.S. Treasury. They found that being in a union can increase workers' wages by 10 to 15 percent. As it turns out, your boss will not wake up one day and just give you a raise out of the goodness in their hearts.